Yo, what's up, YouTube? Welcome back to the quarry. Um, the last shit. I usually like to give like a rundown of like what happened in the last one, but to be honest, you know, I don't remember it because it's been a couple of days. But I I know that we're on an island with uh with our dude Max and a, a girl's tracksuit though. Look at this shit, Smexy. Alright, let's just walk around. Let's go find some shit. Some she is. That's. I think that's the way we have to go, so let's go check over here first. Totally should have just gone to the Harbinger Motel. Honestly, this game has gotten cray cray. Like I'm, I'm walking around as like a guy who was a werewolf, but he got cured because we we killed the person that turned him. So li life is good for this guy right now, you know. The only thing is that he, I just wish uh, he wasn't wearing this bright ass pink tra tracksuit. Oh, there's a hat? Whose hat is that? She must have come back. Oh, I was like, why has it got a slit in the back like that? But that, that's for your ponytail. Why would you put it on? He's like, I'm taking anything I can get at this point. Yeah, so I guess Max was the werewolf on the island the entire time. Swim to shore. Fuck no. Because we swim to shore, I still don't know where Jacob, Nick, or Abby is at this point, right? And they're all three werewolves. And Dylan. Dylan turned and he's a werewolf. So like that's four different werewolves over there. I'm staying over here. Miss me with that shit, bro. Who we playing? Oh, Caitlin? Okay. Damn, I don't know. She's gonna get attacked, bro. She's alone. Dylan's nice. chasing her. Nice. Hopefully they realize the camp is closed and try the motel up the road. <gasps> okay. Okay, Caitlin. The rain's been off and on all night. These fuckers know you're in here. So can they... They're coming back first chance they get. What are you gonna do? Can they handle the rain? Because they can't swim. Like, they freak okay. out if they're in water. I need to get to a vantage point. Something over here? It looks like there is. You a fucking lie. Let's go make sure that this window over here is closed. Oh, you can't even go over there. Yeah, close that bitch, bro. What the fuck? Looks not okay. Better. I remember that from when, uh, what's his face climbed through the window? Can we lock this one? Is it already locked? Or... I'm so sketched out, bro. I really don't want her to die. Like, she, she's one of my favorite characters, that is.
That's right, we got this girl. Make sure that whole lock. That look weird. Okay. What what vantage point am I supposed to get to? Like the kitchen? No, it's locked. Oh, that's the bathroom, that's not even the kitchen. Ah, this game's so dark too, I'm like, fucking... I'm sketched out. God. Well, if they come through the chimney, I'm, I'm sort of fucked, so... Let's not. Nice to put a name to a big name face. So what, you're like Mr. H's brother, I guess? Dead mm -hmm. Bobby. Yeah, let's go through here. Jeez, I'm see really struggling if they're begging for a dollar. Chris Hackett is asking campers parents for additional donations to help with lodge renovations. Isn't that what camp fees are for? What else would that money be going? Where else would that money be going? We got all these. I guess we missed one. See, I want to know who Ian was, bro. What the fuck? Like, if they were feeding him people down there, that's, uh... That's messed up. Oh, shit. Is that not the way to go? Oh. Oh, let's go upstairs. Yo! Eliza was killed in a fire that broke out at her traveling show six years ago. Her ghost roams the woods of Hackett's quarry ever since, and she's been determined to get revenge on the Hackett family for what they did to her. Her tarot cards once lost in the blaze have allowed her to guide you through the night, though her motives may not have been as transparent as first thought. Damn, now they're just giving you straight, like, facts instead of, like, riddles or, like, little things. I said, nah, she, she wants revenge. <laughs> and she coming for the family, bro. Hey, there's not much over here, I'm not gonna lie. I wish I had a flashlight. Is this all it is? Is just like closed off? I have a flashlight on my gun. I just can't aim it at all, which is trash. Dude, how would y'all feel about walking in a creepy ass like cabin while it's like raining and there's there's monsters outside? Man, I'd be so freaked out. How long has this guy been here? Large and overbearing, this regal oil painting of Sept Septimus Hackett holds pride of place on the lodge's chimney column. Yo, prepare for attack, what the fuck? It's about to pop off? Oh, he 
coming. Oh, hell no, bro. Showtime, motherfuckers. Yo, I'm blasting, fools. I'm telling you that right now. It's about to get messy. Oh, no, don't do me like that. <sighs> Jacob's just been running this whole time. Oh, he does not look good. Oh, my God. Stupid. Stupid boy. No, oh, summer's over. Summer's over. And you're nothing. She doesn't want you. Nobody does. Nobody wants you. Oh, no. See that? What the fuck, bro? He just, like, explodes. That's crazy. What is going on out there? Should we go find the others? No! We're safer in here and it's nearly morning. Oh, oh fuck, dude. Come on now. What the? He's coming through the portrait. <laughs> Nah, he's coming up the stairs, bro. He's coming up the fucking stairs. Wait, wait it out. Don't run. We gonna blast this fool, I'm telling you, Kate. Get his ass! Pop him again, bitch! Caleb, run! Oh my god, I'm so scared. She fucking lightly pushes that bitch, no. That? Bro, go help your girl, man. It's Caitlin. Come on. Holy shit. Well, we gotta let her in. Well, we can't. The office door's locked from the outside. But there must be something we can well, do. Yeah, but what? Bro, 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 bro. Come on, come on. Keep running. Don't stop, please. Silver shells. If we can time it right, we can give them to her. She passes. If she passes. I don't want to... Beam. Go to beam? Why would you go out the window? Just please don't fall and hit your neck. Oh my god! <laughs> and that motherfucker flew past me. Run. Keep running. We need to get those silver shells, bitch. Let's go. Oh god, I'm so sketched out. Bro, bro, go, go, go! Investigate! What are you doing? It's Silver! Hey, hey, I'm here! Catch it, load that bitch up right now. Alright, he's 
fucked up. Don't kill him. Don't kill him. We don't know who it is. Oh, he's dead anyways. Oh. Who was it, bro? Fuck you. I got you, motherfucker. Nah, cuz. It's gonna be Dylan or somebody. What exactly happened six years ago? I want to hear from him. There was a fire that wiped out dozens of people, and now there's werewolves and a ghost that roams the woods looking for her lost baby boy. Which I've just put together is Silas. Oh, shit. Yep. It's a long story. No, it's not. There was a fire. Silas the wolf boy escaped, bit a bunch of your family. You failed to stop him. Burn. Yeah. Burn. <laughs> what happened in the past doesn't matter right now. Uh, it kind of does, actually. We need to know what we're up against, at least. What we're up against is a feral boy turned werewolf who for the last six years has avoided being found. No matter what we did. Every full moon we were out there looking. Every single one. Now the son of a bitch is finally here. So what we're up against is my only chance to end this thing for good. So how do you even know where he is? How the hell are we gonna find him just driving down the middle? Oh, he's right behind, right behind. <laughs> Bitch! Don't hit your head, don't hit your head. Oh, he's knocked out, bro. Get the wheel. Come on, come on, keep going, let's go. Take the wheel. Travis! Travis, get it together, come on! There you go. Run his ass over. Go! Ooh. Ooh, you heard the crunch. Where did he go? He kind of just disappeared. He's gotta be nearby. So he just like ran off after you ran him over. Let's look around. Are you crazy? Are we there yet? You're okay. Been better, but yeah. <laughs> I've been better. Over here. Got some blood. Leads through there. What the hell happened back here? Dude, is she wearing one of the mom's Ooh. dresses? That's that's like low key fucked up, right? This is where we went off the road two months ago. You're trying to decide if you should shoot me in the head right now. Go ahead. If that's what you want, I won't stop you. Nah, but we'll take that gun. What? Though. Yes. Normally, I'd have werewolf's blood cover our scent, but I'm all out, so we're high risk. We could be killed. You ready to end this?
Yeah, let's be determined let's about that shit. Let's fucking do this. Let's get it, Go why? Because if we take him out, everybody goes back to normal. And that's what we need right now. I got a lot of werewolf friends. I wonder if, like... So, like, since in Ryan's case, he got turned so he could heal, and he never actually, like, turned into a werewolf, and then he was cured of it. Like, what if somebody is, like, like, actively dying, you know, and that's the only thing keeping together. They just, I like, just go back to normal, yeah. and they still die. This is where I saw her. Or is it like, nah, I hope you until you healed up, bro. I thought she was... I thought Max hit her, but then I was out here, and she was something else. Who? Eliza, the old bro. woman, she was saying something over and over again. Oh my god, she was saying Silas. That's impossible, who you're talking about. I saw her too, in the run tunnels. It's Eliza Vores. Silas's mother, I think. Hey, you think? You think? Well, it sounds better than owner. Wait, what does that mean? He was a feral child she found and then kept in a cage like a goddamned animal. If Kaylee had in a cage, huh? I shut up. Forget I said anything. If Kaylee had Really? Let him You're go. still hiding stuff now? You blew half the head off my niece, Kaylee Hackett. One of the kindest, gentlest souls to ever walk this earth. All she wanted to do was help that little boy. Locked in a cage by that freak show witch. What did she do? She just wanted to help him. Travis. Yeah, for real, bro. Tell her. She convinced Caleb to start a fire. It was just a distraction. It's May Bales. Give him enough time to get Silas out of his cage and give him his freedom. That's not what happened. No. Because within minutes, everybody was dead. Never see Hayburn, Liza, the whole crew. Kaylee managed to get Silas to freedom. But Caleb got bit in the process. And then he turned the whole family. That's why you've been hunting him. Silas, I mean. Every full moon for six fucking years. Some hunter you are. Yeah, that's, that's a lot of fucking time, dude. This, this is all that's left. Jesus Christ. Man. But he did leave the area and come back, so I mean... Any like, sign? Negative. Damn, I never saw any of this. I didn't even know this was here. He's like right the fuck over there. Ryan, don't walk by yourself, bro. What are you doing? Ryan? I'm gonna shit my pants. What was that? Ooh. Shit. I'm sorry, that was... Close. We must be close. Did you both see, see it too? Kind of wish I hadn't. Same. Yeah, she ain't screaming Silas anymore. She already found him. What is it? Silas, the dog boy. That must be it. Careful. Dude, the, the, ch the second I get a chance, I'm, I'm gonna blow his back out with that shotgun. <laughs> oh, bitch, shoot him. Shoot him right now. Okay. 
Jesus Christ. Oh my god. He got fucked up for sure. I mean, poor kid for sure, you know, What's it's wrong? not his fault. What are you waiting for? Shoot, you stupid girl! You probably shouldn't be fucking screaming like that. Are you sure about this? Shoot. Bro, shoot him in the ass! Please, let's just, let's just go before we, we have to see him like that in human form. It's too late for that. Damn, he already turned back to normal. Then who was in the shack? I mean, the, the lodge or whatever the fuck. That's crazy. I hope I got enough evidence. I know there's like a little. Th is there a little end scene after this? Oh, she's gonna scream at us, bro. I bet you think you have it all figured out. I bet you think you're fucking clever. I tried to help you. I tried to warn you. I even started to like you. Not now. Not after this. I will not forget what you made them do to my Silas. Bruh. I've been with you all night. And I'm not about to stop now just because the night's come to an end. No. Oh. Whenever you hear a noise in the dark, a whisper from the shadows, the Sheesh. breath on the back of your neck, that's gonna be me. I'll be there. That's terrifying. No, I will never leave you. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm, I'm just sitting here thinking, I was like, I swear to god, if I get haunted after this, man, I'm never playing a horror game again. <laughs> What's happening? How did we do? Is everybody alive? Come follow me into a place where the fear is gone and the worries fade away. Cause it's a brand new day. Alright, alright. Dude, the scenery looks so nice here, too. I'm trying to see. Okay, so Max is alive. He was cured of the werewolf curse when Ryan shot Chris Hackett. Who's next? Who's next? They're like, that's it. That's Bobby Hackett, uninjured. Bobby was able to fend off an attack from Chris, his brother, and werewolf form. Maybe can't you feel yeah, Jedediah lived because of Bobby. Oh, so we shot Chris in the face. I don't know how he grew back his head and then died. Okay, well, we... We didn't get everybody out of life. Hey, Jacob. Dylan's alive too, hell yeah. All three of our werewolves, man. Our werewolf boys. It doesn't even say anything about her getting turned, so I guess she didn't get infected. Oh, we killed Caleb. Okay. Oh. Damn. Damn. 
Travis and survived the encounter with Silas and finally saw an end to the curse that hunted his family for six years. <laughs> Dude, yeah, I feel like Laura's gonna be crazy as shit after this. With, with good reason, you know? Like, she went through a lot. Laura killed Silas the dog boy in his nest. The curse of Hackett's quarry is broken. Oh shit, here come cops, bro. Yo, I wonder how how they're gonna take it, you know? They're just gonna be like, yeah, Michael he's so Kane's charged after summer camp massacre. <laughs> what? Psycho Teens, one of my favorite punk bands. Okay, so I actually have a really hard time knowing if you're being sarcastic or not. I was being sarcastic. Okay, that actually is very on I thought we'd done the whole Hackett's Quarry thing. Not this yeah, we gotta listen to Hackett's this shit for Quarry real. thing. What was this, like? No! Three months ago? Old news, dude. Anton, introductions first. We are Bizarre Yet Bonafide, the podcast of the paranormal. I'm Grace. And I'm Anton. And together, we explore the possibility of supernatural involvement in real life, everyday occurrences. And that's exactly what they are. Real life, everyday occurrences. With a shadow of spiritual, supernatural occurrences. No. <sighs> okay, so I hope you've got hat insurance, Anton, because I'm about to blow your mind. Did you just ask if I had hat insurance? Yes. It's responsible to insure those things which mean the most to you. A hat. Yes. Okay, I know where your priorities lie. Go on. Anyway, there actually is a real reason that we're coming back to Hackett's Quarry. There have been some developments, and I've sourced some information. I remain skeptical, but I'm all ears. Under my hat. I was hoping you'd say that. Oh, God. Why? Why are you smiling? Stop it. I hate it. Why? I had braces. I have to make use of them sometimes. You do have very pretty teeth. Thank you. That's something that a lot of the podcasts... The fuck is this podcast, bro? Just get to <laughs> so, the story. It just so happens I've got someone on the inside. So today's episode is going to have a bit of a show-and-tell vibe to it. Who do you know on the inside? The inside of where? What? You know someone on the inside? Don't we all have someone on the inside? You know, I just want to know if they actually got charged and went to podcast. fucking prison No for one's that. listening. You should listen to that voice, Grace. Like, we okay, have the well, picture really of the werewolf. Is, let's call it an anonymous donation. You know, we're not the only ones who flagged this as a bizarre situation. Someone actually reached out to us. They sent us a package. Did you? You didn't open it. Anyone who... I don't trust anyone who listens to this show. Oh, I couldn't wait to open it. Surprise! Anonymous donation. Okay, you've always promised me since day one of this podcast that if you could see true evidence, you will consider all options, right? Did you not say that? I did say that, yes. I mean, I know Knowing you... for a fact that we would never see any evidence, I did say that. Okay, well, we've been sent information and we need to decide whether it's bizarre or bona fide. Okay, fine. Let's do this. For anyone listening at home, we are about to open a package from a mysterious person. I who would listens never to this do show. that. Bro. If you are the one who sent us whatever it is, congrats, you got us. Sorry, the tape is just really, really. There's just so much tape on the package. Sorry, can you help me with this? Do you have like a key I could like slice at it with? No, I don't want you to dull my key. Just use your fingers. But just give me your fucking key, Anton. No. Just give, give me, me your fucking, fucking key. key. No. Get your own key. It's not like you lock your door. Of course I lock my door. What are you what are you hiding? What am I hiding? Do you not lock your doors? No, I have nothing to hide. You think that ghosts are real, but you don't lock your doors? No, ghosts couldn't open my doors. They could walk through my walls, Anton. Okay, you need to be more concerned with murderers. Yeah, it is. Take a look. Apparently they found another body. 
Whoa! You can't just show me a picture of a dead body. You got to tell me before you're going to do that. Okay, then let's take this over. Anton, can I show you a picture of a dead body? No! I can't work with that, Anton. I can't okay, work fine. with that, Okay, fine, yes. Anton. You, it, it's a dead body. Okay, wh what is this? What am I looking at? It's one of the hikers that went missing. Do you remember that? Yes, that's the true part of the story. Yeah. Ed Benson was his name. He was drowned in the lake. Okay, drowned or was drowned? Now you're getting grammatical. I'm not getting grammatical. If you drown, you just went swimming and you drowned. If some, if he's been drowned, then someone drowned him. Well, then I think I implied precisely what I meant to imply. Now, of course, I can't verify this info. Of but... course you can't. What, do I have, like, a history of not verifying Yes, info? it's fake. Okay, but I feel very strongly that he was drowned. Okay, well, do the police know about this? Are the Hackett family suspects? Okay, okay, I like that you are getting into this. Here's the thing. The newspaper says this guy's still missing, right? He looks pretty fucking found in this picture. Okay. Yeah, I mean, he's not missing. He's right there. But yeah. why? Why would they say he's still missing? Because it is a conspiracy. A cover-up. Oh, Don't fuck. you see? They're all in on it. I, I, who is all in on it? The Hackett family? The Hackett you family. Me they got, the North they Hill got put Gazette. Away after I told you I've been suspicious of them Trevor, from like, the start. Okay. Like, nah. okay, so there's the one hiker. He's jail. dead. What about the other one? Ann Radcliffe? Still missing. Who knows how many bodies are still down there, though. I don't know. This is pretty inconclusive. I, I'm sorry that the guy drowned, but this kind of seems like a big to-do over nothing. Or is it a big undo of something, which is what a cover-up is? Okay, you can't just twist my words like that. Okay, so I anticipated your skepticism, which is why I saved this little gem for next. Finally, you're going to present me with some ghost ectoplasm. Put out your ring finger. I've got a little gem to slide onto it. What do you got? Leaked photos from the hiker's camera. Photos that show them at Hackett's Quarry. So? Maybe they were there and then they dropped their camera. It happens all the time. Yeah, they dropped their camera whilst being murdered. And their bags were found there, too. Oh, no way. Do you have a fake photo of them, too? Oh. Damn sure. Yeah, we do. Please. Okay, so you have a picture of bags. These could be anyone's bags. Well, they match up to the ones in their photos from their camera, and they have a monogram of their initials. I think, at least. Or it's water damage. I can't tell. I... Yeah, okay. That's <laughs> not nothing. Tell. I'll give you that. So, we've got to talk a little more about the Hackett family. Right, so these guys are like the heritage landowners, right? Mm-hmm. Yep. Their great-great-great-grandparents were trappers who claimed the land way back when. They just claimed it? Yes, they did. They put their flag on it just like the man on the moon. The Hackett family flag, right. Well, apparently when they claimed it, they found... Quartzite. Quartzite? Okay, I was hoping you would ask. Fun fact, every building in the whole of New York is made of quartzite. That's not fun or a fact. Most of them are. But I digest. Digress? It was a pun. They dug the quarry and pun. hit great heights of success before Septimus Hackett classic bad guy name the seventh son of the trappers the number seven has great supernatural powers uh -huh. closed the mine down okay so then they only had the land to live off yes you say only but this land actually spans acres that's a lot of forest a lot of unexplored darkness Ooh, okay a great place to hide to have all these dark secrets for this strange reclusive family mm -hmm. and this is where we start to get a little more into paranormal territory okay here acres we go and acres of haunted woods if you say so Is that it? Welcome to Bizarre Yet Bonafide.
the podcast of the paranormal. Welcome back to Bizarre Yet Bonafide. Anton, today I'm actually going to pass you some light writing. Okay, you're going to make me read this? Mm-hmm. All right, um, this is... What you're seeing now is a copy of a letter that Kaylee Hackett wrote to her grandma. Allegedly. Allegedly. <sighs> All right, uh, this seems like more of a you job, but I suppose right, I can Right, but read I, I this. feel like if some of the evidence comes from your mouth, it will have more clout. Right, okay, here we go. Gammy, how long we gonna drag this shit out? Oh, shit. I know family is the most important thing, but I want to know what's outside the forest, outside this damn house and camp, and I sure as hell know that ain't about to happen because of who we are. Maybe we can explain what's going on. Fucking show people. Then they'll know we got no control over it. I know you just trying to protect us, but one day you won't be here no more, and right now it feels like we stuck in a dark hole. I can't sleep, Gammy, or if I do, I dream about that fucking fire. We were just dumbass kids back then. I wish it never happened. Love, K, X, O, X, O. That took a turn. <laughs> yes. Dream about that fucking fire. Does that not read as the haunted scribblings of someone who saw something that they shouldn't have seen? Yeah, no, I'm fully creeped out. She was clearly going through some stuff. And this is legit? I mean, I don't know why someone would fake it. Then again, I can't verify any of this. So, you've got to suspend your disbelief slightly. Man, this poor girl. Yeah, there was something going on, something eating away at her. And that's what I want to explore. Okay, well, consider my disbelief suspended. For now. So, I don't think that's going to be a problem for this next one. Oh god, why? Holy shit! This is a cease and desist letter. And it's addressed to us. Dude, why didn't you tell me about this? Well, it was never actually sent. That's mad shit, fam. What? That's mad Signed shit, by fam. Travis Hackett. We're not doing anything illegal. Aren't we? Think about it. I guess it wasn't technically sent to us. Cease and desist letters come from people hiding stuff. Hmm. Okay. And next we have this empty vial thing. Now, to me, empty implies that it was once full. Samesies. Bloodstains, maybe? Filled with blood? Looks that way. Freaky. Some kind of ritual thing? Do I detect a hint of belief? Love a good ritual. Kind of fucked up that these guys know who we are, though. Okay, but putting the Hackett family aside for a moment, there's more to this. Are you ready for some real spooky shit? I'm ready for real spooky shit. I don't know if you can provide it, but please try. <sighs> Don't get too freaked out. I'll try my hardest. Okay. Is Do you want to hold my picture? hand? No. Okay. It better be the you wearable picture. You need someone picture. to comfortingly pat your back. Please just say what you're going to say. Do you want me to turn all the lights on so you don't I don't want you scared? to do anything. I want you to say what you have. Okay. There so what's this? What are we looking at now? A photo taken by one of the counselors. I'm a mount bank. Downloaded from her phone. Oh my god. Is that real? This is what we're here to discuss. It looks shopped. I mean, doesn't it? I don't think so. Look at the eyes and tell me that's not real danger. What the hell is that? Bizarre, yet bona fide. What the hell happened? More than what we're being told. Man. There's something else too. Yeah? Look what happens when I put it through a negative filter. What is that? It's her, the hag of Hackett's quarry. See? Full circle! Oh, I mean, shit. that could be anything, She's dude. Like it, it barely even looks like a person. What's what's that thing where your mind makes you see faces and shit? I can't believe you're still questioning this. What do you want me to say? Ultimately, unless I experience something myself, the most likely reasoning is that it's fabricated. Okay, then what do you think of this? Ew, is that skin? Skin, fur, whatever you want to call it, really. It looks human. Hmm. Wait, is it? Apparently, it belongs to whatever creatures supposedly caused all this. Do we have the actual thing? Can I see it in the flesh, so to speak? No, just the photo. Whoever got in touch was smart enough to not risk actually stealing evidence. Oh, convenient that we can't see the real deal, huh? Come on, man. Just saying. Come on, man. So, what we've got here? 
This could incriminate the Hackett family, or what's left of them, at least. Wait, you believe it? I, I don't know. At the very least, we should tell someone. The police should know, right? Yeah, for real. Do you believe it? All of it? No, I'm not the supernatural stuff. I'm talking about killing those hikers. We've got a body evidence they were there this is real stuff grace it's stacking up against the hackets we might yeah. we might actually we got, know something we got a whole flapjack stack of evidence yes so what do we do shut off the podcast and report this to somebody what no <laughs> anton we finally have something going here it's getting juicy yes we have it's something real juicy. we have actual people have actually died this is actually crazy grace you did it just Take the win. Let's turn this off and actually report it. No, say actually more ass. Hikers remain recovered. Hackett family suspected. So did our did our people make it out, bro? Are they incriminated or not? I can't skip through this. It's his. <laughs> Very upsetting. Yo, but this has been a fun ass game. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the video. And I really hope you guys liked it. And just let me know, you know, what choices you would have made in the videos that I posted, you know. Just come and comment. Come help my algorithm out. If that's how you say that word. Alrighty, yeah, I'll probably end the video here. I don't think there's anything left. And if there is, I'm sorry about it. But, you know, it is what it is. I hope y'all have a great day. Be safe. Drink some water. And, you know, if you have a pet, go play with your pet. I'm about to go walk Sammy because she's looking at me funny. So, <laughs> I'll see y'all in the next game that we play. Pieces. Pieces. I was going to say deuces and peace at the same time. But, yeah, it was whatever.